Good morning, everyone. This is David Adelit. I want to share an observation that hit me recently, not in a band room, but in the Vanderbilt Hospital ER with my wife, Renee. Here's the thing. In the past 18 months, Renee and I have had our fair share of ER visits. And recently, it made me realize something important about building a strong community, both in healthcare and in our band programs. Here's why. We've been in some ERs that were sparkling clean, everything perfectly organized, but the staff was cold and detached, treating patients like numbers on a chart. It felt sterile. On the other hand, this past Tuesday, we were in the Vanderbilt ER, and it was maybe a little bit messy, a bit crowded, and a little bit smelly. But guess what? The energy was electric. The staff worked together seamlessly, collaborating, focused on one goal, helping the patients. It felt vibrant. Here's the thing that struck me. The staff reminded me of great musicians. The doctors and nurses, they listened to each other. They anticipated each other's needs. They played off each other like a well-rehearsed ensemble. There didn't seem to be posturing in little personal battles, like drama, that can get in the way. It was clear they cared deeply about the patients and about each other. You know, this aligns perfectly with what Charles Duhigg talks about in his book, The Power of Habit. Duhigg talks about the importance of organizational habits and how habits and routines shape organizational behavior. In the Vanderbilt ER, we saw those habits at play. The staff clearly cared about the patients and about each other. They communicated effectively, working together as a team. This got me thinking about first principles. You know, stripping away the fluff and asking ourselves what truly matters when building a culture. For a band program, a clean band room is great, with neatly organized chairs and stands, but that doesn't guarantee a strong student culture. The real magic lies in the unseen. The connections between students, the way they uplift and support each other, it's the dedicated practice outside of hours, the quiet high five from a senior to a freshman after a tough part, the shared laughter after a challenging section is mastered. These are the things that create a culture of excellence, a place where students feel valued, supported, and inspired. So the question for each of us might be, what kind of culture do we want to create in our band programs? What are the unseen behaviors and habits we want to cultivate? Once we know that, we can work backward and design routines and activities that foster those values. This isn't about taking what you already do and slapping a quote-unquote culture-building sticker on it. It's about starting with a vision, with the kind of band family you want to build, and then creating a roadmap to get there. Happy Monday!